welcome to another session of IELTS prep with Luke Scholar. Let's start with a rapid fire. Quickly answer these questions. What's your name? Where are you from? What are you studying? Think these questions are easy peasy? Oh well, that's the point. Hi, it's me Nirisha, your instructor and today we are going to discuss the easiest IELTS section, speaking part 1. In this section, the questions are primarily about yourself, like what you do, where you come from, etc. There are some predefined categories for these questions. Let's look at them with sample questions one by one. First, about you. As the name suggests, the questions are about you, like what is your name or what should I call you? Simply say, hi, I'm Nirisha. Next up, study details. Are you currently studying? Why did you choose this subject? Next, work. What are the things you enjoy about the job and why? You can say, people, I love talking to new people. It's insightful. Okay, do you believe in job satisfaction or better pay? A balance of both is very important. For me, it cannot be just one of them. You see, your answers should sound human and natural. It should not feel like you're taking a test. Rather, you're talking to a friend. Practicing speaking will help you gain confidence. We at Leap Scholar offer one-on-one -on -one speaking practice sessions, 25 full-length speaking evaluations, a 25 plus writing mock test, study material, doubt solving sessions and much more at 20% off. Click on the link in the description to enroll now. Moving on to the next category, a competition. This involves questions like, uh, what do you like in your current house? Keep it simple and honest. Talk about your favorite sit out or little things about your room that makes you feel at home. Fifth is your childhood. Did you have a good time growing up? What is the first childhood memory you can recall? And etc. A good answer would involve mentioning a fond childhood memory with your parents or maybe with your siblings. Talk about your family with a little bit of emotion. Next is neighborhood. They might ask you to describe your neighborhood. I would have answered, I live in the outskirts of the town, so there is immense feel of beauty around. I'm lucky to have a few of my closest friends as neighbors. There is a park where we go for a walk almost every evening and these little things make me feel at home here. The point is, try to weave in various elements so that your answer carries some essence. Seventh category is internet. What impact can the internet have on how we live? Or do you consider the majority of online information to be accurate? For questions like these, staying well informed and reading about current affairs can help you get ready. Form an opinion and communicate it honestly. Then the eighth one is transport. It can be as simple as, how did you come here today? Or something such as, should people use public transport more often? Why or why not? The range varies depending on the kind of conversation you are having. Next, about your free time. What do you usually do during your free time? Why are you doing these things? Talk freely about your hobbies and be real as to why you enjoy them. There is no good or bad hobby here. They are rating you on your confidence and fluency. The next one is reading. Do you like reading books? What book have you recently read? Now you have to answer honestly because if you name a book, they might ask you more questions about it. So mention only the books that you have really read. They can also ask you about travel. What places do you visit in your hometown? Mention your favorite spots and why you like them. If you have a childhood memory, share it. For instance, I go to this cafe called Eva because the food is delicious and the owner has known me since I was two. 
even though I'm 29 now, he still gives me a chocolate each time I draw by. Next category is sports. What sport do you enjoy the most? Cricket, tennis or anything is fine. Mention your favourite sports person and describe if you still play or only enjoy watching it. Moving on to holidays. What do you do on a holiday? With who do you usually spend your holiday? And such questions. I rest and mostly catch up on my favourite shows. It's pretty simple. Talk about your off days. And the last one is shopping. Do you enjoy shopping? If not, why? Or something like, uh, where do you usually go shopping? Watch the conversation and keep the details in trusted but short. That covers all the categories for speaking part 1 section. Now let's learn some tips to ensure that you score well. First one is to learn about expected questions. Check this one because we just discussed all the categories. Second one is record yourself and evaluate. You just have to listen to your recording and concentrate on your weaknesses. Evaluate if you're taking meaningful pauses. Pausing is normal. You can use phrases like, that's a good point or let me think, etc. The third one is, be confident and avoid unfamiliar words. Stay calm and approach the questions like a discussion with a friend. Keep it simple because using words in the wrong context can affect your score. Fourth one is to practice daily. Focus on your fluency, grammar and vocabulary. The fifth one is don't memorize or use spinners. Practice speaking but avoid memorizing answers. Use correct grammar and avoid fillers such as uh, um, a like. Sixth one is Avoid sounding monotonous. Emphasize certain words and use punctuations. Keep the conversation interesting and don't forget to smile. The seventh one is yes or no answers. Avoid one word responses because they show you're not confident. Remember, the examiner is more interested in your confidence than your knowledge of the topic. And lastly, practice speaking one on one. You will find our speaking sessions really helpful for this. So don't forget to click on the link in the description and enroll with Leap Scholar at 20% off. That's all for today. Hope you found this session helpful. Let me know in the comments section if you have any doubts and stay tuned for the next session. Happy learning!